Hello everybody, what you see behind me right there is Hong Kong. Now we are traveling currently from England, we left England obviously a while ago, to Australia for the Australian Open Tennis Tournament. Now on our way, we figured that we would maybe do a little bit of a Q&A. So I've posted this photo, you guys have commented some of your questions, which obviously aren't, there we go, there they are. And as we travel, as we get closer and closer to the Australian Open Finals, we are gonna answer some of your questions. So let's get started. Seb, what's your main focus right now? Uh, my main focus, I'm assuming you're meaning sort of work-wise, I think my main focus this year, 2019, is going to be getting back into what I really, really love and what I enjoy doing the most, which is sharing these adventures with you guys. Sorry for the announcement. Um, but you know, I took a year developing other businesses on the side and it made me realize that what I really, really enjoy is just bringing you guys along on these adventures and trying to use this community uh, to create a family and to uh, enjoy ourselves all together. So that's my main focus, getting back into doing what I enjoy the very most, which is producing content for you legends. Pulling out with a car YouTube crew. Oi, oi, hello. We've made it to Australia now. Look at this. We're in Melbourne, but to answer your question, have I fallen out with the YouTube crew, car YouTube crew? No, I have not. I've taken you know some time off, as I've mentioned already, to concentrate on other projects on the side of YouTube. So naturally, was just spending less time with those guys. But we've got some plans coming up. I'm going to America with Paul in a couple of weeks, and hopefully, we'll be just filming with you know all the others. Sam literally left Melbourne the day before we got here, so unfortunately, we couldn't see him. But yeah. No, I have not fallen out with the car YouTube crew. Are you the same in real life as you are on YouTube? Well, first of all, you now join us in the Outback, getting into our car for this trip, the Kia Sportage. Um, I think that I'm somewhat similar as, as I am on YouTube in real life. I think I started off being exactly the same, but then I've grown up more in my real life, potentially, than I did on YouTube. Um, I've realized that my characters have kind of changed, you know, I changed in real life and I kind of kept it the same as when I started doing YouTube when I was younger. So what I'm trying to do now is just be just exactly what I'm like in real life. Not that there's going to be a big change, I just think a few things. Um, so pretty much, yeah, but uh, I think it's going to get even more so. Anyways, I feel like going to a beach for the next question. Who is your favorite car YouTuber? I get asked this question a lot, and I think it kind of goes in phases. As in, you know, I'll go through phases of watching one a lot, and uh, phases of watching another a lot. At the moment I'm watching Salamondran, tons. Um, I like the Stradman as well at the moment. I've been watching the American Boys quite a bit. But I, I have so much respect for anyone doing this, because of the work that's into it. I mean, Shmi, you all know, everyone always says it, but the amount of work that guy puts into it. Uh, Supercars of London, you know, he was a pioneer for all of us. He sort of kicked off this world and, you know, we're all forever grateful for that. Um, Vehicle Virgins has done some amazing things. He has some incredible cars. So, you know, I, I go through different phases and I get along with all of them very well and I respect them all tons. But I think at the moment I'm, I'm quite into watching some of the American boys and I always love watching Paul's videos as well. So. What was your favorite car you drove in 2018? Uh, I think that would be two. I think my favorite, the one I enjoyed the most, was probably a 458 Spider. But the best car I drove would probably be the McLaren 600 LT. Four. How is Lord Hamish doing? That's a brilliant one. If you guys don't know, Lord Hamish is, uh, there's no other way of saying it, Lord Hamish is my pet chicken. Um, I guess we can probably roll a clip of him. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. I'm He's doing really well, living like a king, 
He's, you know, living the Lord life, really. That's all I can say. Didn't you get him, like, a new feeder or something? He's just gotten a new water and a chicken feed feeder, which is very fancy. He seems to be loving that. So he's been in a good mood recently, you know. Lord Amish, loving life. Do you think it's still possible to become a successful YouTuber? First things first mate, Colin, give me some. We have made it to the Australian Open. This is the goal. Uh, there's going to be a whole vlog on this. But to answer your question, I think it's still possible to be a successful YouTuber. I absolutely think so. And I know everyone always says the same thing. Cheers, Amy Winehouse. Uh, <laughs> but all you need to do is find your niche. Try not to copy others too much. And Sorry, I'm running out of time here. And, uh, and just be true to yourself, and then you will be able to become a successful YouTuber. Um, it may just take some time, it won't be as easy as you think it is. Who are you rooting for? Nadal. Mm-hmm. You're doing well then. Yeah.